So welcome to Straight Talk. Today, we're with Chuck Butal and Lisa Lavender with the Restoration Technical Institute. Hello, Lisa and Chuck. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Jeff. Doing great. Hi, Jeff. Good. Good to hear. Hey, uh, I know RTI is very busy these days. You guys are doing a lot of online training. In fact, if I recall, you know, online training with IICRC is fairly a uh, new thing. It's a new thing because mm -hmm. uh, of the pandemic kind of forced the issue, and you guys jumped right on it. You've been doing uh, this for several months now. So you're pioneers in uh, online training. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, to, yeah to it's been charge. great. And with ISSA, I know we have a partnership. We uh, are working on classes together, mm -hmm. so that's cool to see. But what I want to do is kind of hear from you. What was it like to get this going? Uh, the early days of implementing online training, maybe some of the challenges you faced. And maybe, Lisa, you could start us off. Sure. Well, I think uh, initially it was just learning all the nuances. There's technology, there's tools, there's, uh, that, I mean, it's a whole other discipline of curriculum design and understanding adult online learning. So uh, we had to really do a deep dive and understand all those different aspects to be good at it. You know, we didn't want to do it. Um, you know, on a whim, we wanted to do it really well. And then, of course, and, you know, we're, we have a flood house. We pride ourselves on magnificent hands-on training that people can bring back. So we really challenged and did a lot of collaborating with our instructors and stuff to try to replicate and give the feeling and, and the uh, skills that to replace the hands-on experience online. Yeah, that's cool. And Chuck, I believe you do some classes as well. You're, you're with RTI. And what's your viewpoint? Hey, yeah, actually, we just, uh, I just finished my first WRT online. We'd had a couple previous with Destry. Um, right now, we're actually in the middle of uh, Mark Violan um, doing repair and reinstallation uh, online. And um, so it, it's moving along really well. Uh, there was a hell of a learning curve without a shadow of a doubt, especially for all of us people, you know, over a certain age when it comes on down to it. Um, <laughs> I used to be a mainframe computer engineer way back in the 80s. So it did help um, understanding some of the knowledge and, you know, making sure we had the right bandwidth and everything else that's required to, to, to actually do the classes. But I think uh, the, the issue was is that we had to really redesign the courses in order to keep the participants' attention um, instead of constantly focusing on moving around a room and writing on a board and everything else or giving them hands-on um, options to do. And Kristen Orgera, who's our uh, you know, director of operations, um, has a master's degree in education. And she really jumped online and got into the eight things that you need to do for online training and kind of drilled that down on us. And uh, Lisa's uh, uh, two older ones are in college. And basically, they were taking online classes. So they were great to tell us oh, don't do it the way this guy's doing it. It's terrible. Do it the way this, <laughs> this lady over here is doing it. It's fantastic. So it was a lot of rewrite and incorporation, but the responses we got are fantastic. And, and the brilliant part is people are coming in from everywhere, from Hawaii, Puerto Rico, um, out of Canada, all around the globe, literally tuning into these courses. And as we are starting to now expand them to um, – languages in, in Spanish and also coming in in French, um, we expect to, you know, bring that group up even more um, as we have more native uh, language speakers in, in different um, languages for everyone to be able to be a part of. Because the ISSA network is so vast and such a great organization, um, you know, we're trying to make sure we can expand the skills so we can, we can have everybody participate in, involved in it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, of course, I work at ISSA and our reach is global. And uh, besides our members, we also have our media brands, our magazines. Uh, so the reach is tremendous. So I'm glad it's helping fill these classes. In fact, from what I've heard is some classes that typically might get um, just a handful of students are filling up. Is that true? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, One thing I would wonder about as a, as a student, someone taking a class is, you know, what about the hands-on what about the stuff I get to do in a classroom? I think you guys are sending things out or helping with that. Yeah, so um, for carpet repair and carpet cleaning, we actually sent sample kits and we included that in the registration so that they could participate on spotting, um, row finding, and all kinds of different things and really get a feel of the different types of 
carpet and cushions and threads and they did the burn test um, virtually. So they got to smell it and, and have a live instructor with expertise talk them through that. So, and we're adding um, a lot of video demonstrations. So Chuck's been filming this week just to add. So we keep adding, and again, it mixes the media but it also allows us to really try to replicate and bring them into an environment or touching the equipment virtually um, as we do these videos to enhance the training. I don't know if Chuck has much time these days. He's got a flood right behind him. I can see right there. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, yeah. very cool. Uh, do you, do you find that folks have a hard time staying focused? I don't, I don't know. Are you going all day long? Are you breaking up the sessions? Yeah, yeah, actually what we're doing, um, we have various uh, instructors doing various times. Uh, one of the first classes we did was really excellent and it was two and a half hours a day um, over eight days, four days one week and four days the following week okay. with Destry. And I think that class sold out like 12 hours or something like that because it was after hours for most people. Um, but then we got a ton of people saying, no, 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 I want to still two to three day things. So. I took the heavy lifting on that aspect of it, and we did our first three-day WRT in three days, which is six and a half hours a day of being in front of a computer. Um, but the responses came back extremely positive uh, on both of them. And, uh, you know, Destry's now doing, um, upcoming next month, he's doing a four-hour uh, a day course for five days. So we're, yeah. the, the ability to vary that is really great. And that's why we're seeing, also seeing people tune in from other parts of the, the, the globe in different time zones, um, you know, because it's more convenient for them. And some of the ones in Hawaii were actually tuning in at like three o'clock in the morning, but then they're finished, of course, by the time they got to go to work. So uh, I don't know. You know I, I don't know if I'd like a three o'clock in the morning class, but that's a tough Yeah, one. that's a long day. But they, yeah. but they stay super engaged. We've been thrilled. But again, that's part of the techniques of learning that of stopping every five, seven minutes, do an activity. Um, we've replicated the social environment that they get in a classroom with different techniques. So there, there's a lot that goes into it, but it's been like amazing. And all, the team of instructors has been excited and very, um, you know, they're open minded and pivoting and changing it up and actually everyone's having really a lot of fun doing it, I think. Yeah, and I'm sure that all your instructors are told they better have some really good jokes occasionally to liven the class. Yeah, that, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Gotta keep it moving a little bit. Yeah, well, it's really cool. I know you have a full slate of classes all the time and they're, they're on mm -hmm. your website. They're on the issa.com website as well. Uh, people need to sign up quickly because they do sell out. I, I know that's an issue. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that, that has been an issue. Uh, ISSA people do not normally, you know, have a limitation on the online classes. And with IEC or C right now, we're limited to 20. Um, so if you do see a class you want, I don't want to sound like a used car salesman, but uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely act now. And, no, I know um, that's true. It's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, because we've had actually had a few people that calls us and said, hey, man, you know, we couldn't get in this class. So we, we you know, the, the first carpet, again, sold out incredibly fast. And, you know, it's like repairing these type of courses. We keep, kind of keep them small so there's a good interaction. Um, but it's probably going to expand up a little bit. The ICRC's board is looking at going to a higher number. Um, they just wanted to make sure they had the quality of instructor to participant uh, interaction. And, um, you know, the thing is, is like they're learning in carpet cleaning and, in, uh, you know, RRT, repair and reinstallation, is that they can – fix carpets and, and spots and other areas and um, instead of replacing an entire room full of carpet and, and saving the facility quite a mm -hmm. bit of money. Um, and these are skills that, you know, they were kind of, boy, you, like you said earlier, you know, you had to fly all the way across country to go take a class for a day, you know, maybe 10, 12 people showed up for the class. Now, you know, it, it sells out at, at 20. So it, yeah. it's a big difference. Well, uh, if anyone wants a class with RTI, go, you can go to isa.com and go to the events tab. Can they, can they get information another way? Is there a way, better way to contact you personally? They can also go on restorationtechnicalinstitute.com. You know, yeah, either website will get you where you need to go. Well, and there's other stuff on your website as well, I'm sure, to look at and, mm -hmm. and to, to learn from. So 
Well, that Absolutely. we're also going to be putting a lot more information up on the LMS. Um, so that way the subscribers will be getting, you know, five and 10 minute, uh, you know, quick tip videos on things and uh, uh, overviews. And so we're, we're building that online resource you know, as we speak. And, you know, like you said earlier, COVID kind of hit everybody, you know, literally out of left field. And uh, yes. it, it's, um, it seems easy to make a video and you just push a button and it goes up on YouTube. That's one thing. But when you're putting them up on the LMS, it does require a lot more background work um, to get them formatted just exactly right for that learning management system um, other than just YouTube videos. So it's a lot more um, precise and it does require a little bit more background, but uh, they're, we're putting them up there as, as fast as we can for everyone. Yeah, LMS. We need more acronyms, don't we, in our industry? Absolutely, man. I mean, we don't have enough, especially us in the IACRC world. I always joke that it was started by four ex military guys because there's absolutely nothing without an acronym over there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, well, folks, it's great talking to you. And uh, the Restoration Technical Institute is busy with classes. Anyone that wants a class should sign up quickly. ISSA.com is where the, the registration is housed. So I uh, appreciate all you do. And we'll talk again another day.